fresh breath is good. Quality breath is excellent. Hi, I'm Steve White, and today on Steve White Yoga, we're going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of breath in the yoga world. It's a technique called Ujjayi, and some people call it ocean breath. Uh, hang around for a second, and we'll get going. There's no two ways about it. This is a difficult technique for some people to get and get well. It actually requires a tremendous amount of practice to do it with full efficiency. And I, uh, in my own experience, have noticed that um, practitioners who have sometimes done yoga practice with Ujjayi breath for a number of years still could use some work on the quality of their Ujjayi. So there are a different set of specific practices to demonstrate or improve quality. But for the moment, let's just talk about the technique itself. We're using the glottis, the swallowing muscles in the throat. And what we do is to use those muscles to narrow the opening in the throat. Not to close it off entirely, of course, because that would be ridiculous, but rather to create a smaller opening and thus create sort of a whispering sound. In fact, it's the same action you would use when you were to whisper, and that's usually how we teach the technique to those who've never done it before. The challenge doesn't necessarily come on the exhale of the breath, the challenge comes on the inhale. So instead of breathing through the mouth, we're doing all our breathing through the nose, unless you have some kind of an obstruction such that your nose won't work right uh, to accommodate a full and even breath. But absent that, all our breathing is done through the nose and using this slight contraction of the swallowing muscles. It's often referred to as Darth Vader breath, and that has uh, the benefit for some people of really kind of getting a grasp of it. But the uh, difficulty is often inhaling while using this technique. So. I'm going to invite you to do a few rounds with me of just the exhale so you get the idea of it. It's pretty easy for most people to get this. So if you just take a full inhale in place, and then as you exhale, open your mouth and go and you'll feel what's going on in your throat when you do that. Full inhale, and same exhale. And you notice how you can slow your breath uh, lengthen your breath when you're doing that. Another deep inhale. And the exhale. You might spend a little time on your own just exploring this particular step toward Ujjayi breath and try and work specifically on lengthening your exhale by counting to yourself. So you might be able to do a count of four, for instance, and then maybe go to a five, count of five, and six, and seven, and eight. And that gives you the idea of the power of this, the ability of this technique to lengthen the breath. We talked about the exhale, but now we have to talk about the exhale through the nose rather than through the mouth. And the easiest way to teach this, I've found, is just simply to start with the mouth open and then close it as you continue the exhale. So if you just take a full inhale in place once again, begin your exhale through the mouth, and then close it. Deep inhale in place. Open your mouth, exhale, and then close it. One more try on that. And that is the exhale in Ujjayi. The inhale becomes a little more difficult. Uh, sometimes people will uh, suggest that if you think about the inhale being that same contraction of the throat, but it's like you're trying to draw the air straight to the back of your throat, sometimes that helps people to sort of get this. So here's a uh, regular old inhale together. Our exhale. Keep the mouth closed, inhale. Pulling that air to the back of the throat, exhale. And inhale. 
Try it again. Full exhale. Maintain that contraction in the throat. Last round. Exhale. Inhale. And relax. So if that doesn't, doesn't resonate with you right away, particularly um, the inhale is where people will get a little stuck, then just work on it a little bit. Uh, practice it in your car. Practice it before you go to bed at night. There is an advantage of being able to breathe this way that extends beyond just lengthening and deepening, deepening the breath. There is a term that we use in we the Western physiological world called uh, sympathetic parasympathetic balance. This is the portion of the nervous system that regulates our um, degree of calm or our degree of stress. And it's fairly well established in the modern world that even under the best of conditions, we operate with some level of stress. You take current days like we have now, where there's a tremendous amount of uncertainty in the world and uh, a lot of sickness going around, and that sense of stress can be heightened to a degree that can become almost uncontrollable. If we use this technique, it starts to re-regulate sympathetic parasympathetic, parasympathetic balance and bring us to a, a more even keel. So there is an effect to the nervous system that we can establish here that you can't really um, access in any other way. You can do it through medication, but beyond that, the breath is really the primary means of directly controlling this. So long, deep, ujjayi breath can re-regulate or raise parasympathetic tone is one term that's used, and thus calm us. And so it can have a profound effect both short-term and through regular daily practice, long-term improvement in our level of stress and anxiety. So try this for a while. And if you can sort of establish the technique in any, in any way, the suggestion then would be to begin to count to yourself and create an even inhale and exhale. Uh, we use the ratio of one to one, but it could be a three count inhale, a three count exhale, a four count inhale, four count exhale, seven count inhale, seven count exhale, if your breath can accommodate it. It's not a contest. It's not, uh, there is no badge of honor for doing a particularly long breath. And the distinct warning in the yoga world is don't use this to such an extent that you feel like you're straining the breath in either direction at all. If you get to that point where uh, the breath becomes strained, then it's running counter to our own efforts and it in fact inflames the sympathetic portion of the nervous system and create a greater level of stress. So work on this for a while. And the general advice is uh, start out with two to three minutes of finding some ratio, four to four, five to five, whatever works for you, and practicing that for maybe a week or so in three to five minute intervals. You can do it once a day, twice a day. Time of day doesn't really seem to matter very much, although probably not advisable just before sleep. So give it a try. There's lots we can do with this and in the process work to build vitality, focus, greater energy, and a greater level of control over our own nervous system. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.